you gonna apologize? We're just gonna sit here awkwardly. Apologize about what? Don't act like you don't know. You're clearly in the wrong here. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you really gonna play dumb right now? Hello? Anyone home? Why can't you just admit what you did wrong? Dick, I'm so fucking sick of this! You always say you're right! I didn't say that I was right, Julie! Yes, you did! I said that you were wrong! Jake, could you just listen to me? Could you just listen to me this one time? I am! Please just- At first, it seems like these characters have no obvious connection, but then it reveals how each is connected over time in such cool ways that they are connected. I thought it was so clever how this was written. Um, similar to movies like Crash, one reaction instance affects another down the line. Very well done. I never gave away how these characters will affect one another, but in every situation, I can pinpoint the decision that they made that would have altered this day. For example, him choosing not to eat food with his mother alters the rest of their day. Um, her choosing to text the guy to come out and meet her alters the rest of his day. Her choosing to get out of the car with her boyfriend in the first place alters the rest of everyone else's day. You know, so there's just so many different things. The the choice to shoot someone, the choice to to argue over, you know, all of these things, every single, it was so many choices. We can go on and on and on about how many choices affected someone else's choice. Um, just, just really well done. I really enjoyed it. I could have, I could have watched even long, like an even longer version of this. Um, but even though there's a lot of foreshadowing in this, it never gave away exactly how these characters were going to sort of intersect. Fiercely violent, well told structurally, I mean, this piece had all the makings of a really well-told thriller. I loved all of the separate stories and how everyone um, has an invisible string connecting them all to their grisly ends. Um, yeah, I love the acting in this was great. I love that everyone's bad actions have consequences. They all sort of meet their karma in the end. Um, all of our main characters that we follow sort of do bad things in this film and all meet their karma. Although the karma in this film is a lot of the time worse than what they did. But um, I liked that little aspect that they were all not, none of them were perfect people. They were all doing something flawed and that ended in their death. Um, and I liked the fact that we have this ripple effect throughout um, just the theme of it, of this, this film being consequences have, I mean, actions have their consequences. I thought it was cool. Um, and the invisible string connecting them all, also very cool. I loved the writing in this film. Just the story itself is so well thought out. Um, there was so much action in this film. And I thought those all the action in it was executed amazingly. The ending itself was very shocking and I didn't expect it, which I thought was um, a feat of this film um, being unexpected and yet expect it at the same time. Um, it reminded me of like Pulp Fiction in a lot of ways, or like any Tarantino movie, really, Pulp Fiction or uh, Reservoir Dogs or things like, something like that, like a uh, stylized crime story. Um, and I liked it. I like Pulp Fiction. I like Reservoir Dogs and I like Suburban Story. Um, I like the style and the voice of these filmmakers like the way they use the camera, the way they use dolly zooms and um, shaky cam and not shaky cam and the types of shots that they choose, the visual vocabulary that they use. I really rock with, I like this, the overall style. Um, um, also the writing was great. The editing was great how what placing everything in the way, like the idea of like you as a filmmaker and having all the info and knowing the whole story and then choosing being intentional about when you choose to reveal different information and stuff i thought that was well played i really like storytelling like this where you have kind of uh different threads that are all part of the same story but you don't really understand how they fit together and you kind of get different 
sections or pieces of them at a time and then by the end you kind of are getting the full picture of how they kind of interacted and how they are you know intersected and things like that which I, I would like I said I really enjoy that kind of storytelling um it keeps me as in, like the audience really interested because I'm trying to piece things together I'm trying to see how things are going to interact or how they're going to intersect or where you know things are going to kind of come to a head where the crossover is going to be um so I really really enjoyed that aspect of it just because like I said I tend to enjoy that type of storytelling um I also thought it was a really really intriguing story I liked that you kind of had a little bit of time jumps where you're trying to like I said put the pieces together and then you get more info as you um continue watching and things kind of start to make more sense where in the beginning you're like what is that in reaction to what the heck is happening things like that and then as you kind of move forward you are getting all this information you're starting to un really understand the context um and then at the end you kind of get the entire full picture including you know the of uh, the other people affected as the other family and things like that um so i really really enjoyed this i thought it was really 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 well done i thought they gave each of the different threads each of the different kind of storylines the correct amount of attention and then as they started to kind of weave them together i liked how they jumped between them i thought that it flowed really 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 well this had some amazing cinematography i mean i absolutely loved it i thought all of the actors did a great job they were all organic and very believable very good rapport with each other like i believed what the relationships were and it really, it actually kind of took me aback and it stunned me that one of the actors used the word retarded. I was just like, oh God, okay. Um, but it fit his character so well. Um, nice job doing the graphics with the text messaging and stuff like that. Great idea to do the chapters in this. And I think that the music was awesome. 